Hello and happy Easter to anybody who is celebrating. Welcome to my April Reset video. Today we're going to talk about what I did in March. We're gonna set goals for April and talk just a little bit about my budget for April. Let's just jump right into it. Let's start with the fruits and veggies. I actually did pretty decently. I did 22 times fully and then 4 times kind of half, which is about 77% of the time. If you ask like what's half, it's let's say for an apple, I split it with my husband, it's like half an apple. It's still pretty good in my opinion, I'm definitely going to push myself more in this month, now that we have like much better quality fruits and veggies, because it's starting to get warmer. Step goal is definitely the one I did the most this month. I only missed 2 days, so I reached my step goal 29 times and missed 2 times which is about 93% of the time that I achieved my goal. Now, I put my step goal kind of a little low to be able to easily reach it, but I also have a, like a total step goal, which I set as a 230k. I did not reach that because I was not really pushing myself for that. I was more to achieve it every day. I reached about 205k, which is still pretty good. If I had just a couple more good days, it would be achieved. I'm happy to report that I finally did much better on my German goal, and let me tell you why. There are a couple of ways that I can achieve that goal. One of them is taking a course or doing homework for that, one of them is like writing a sort of like a German diary, one of them is accomplishing all three daily quests in Duolingo, and one of them is listening to a podcast or some episodes in German. And for the longest time I was so stuck with this because I thought that you really need to pay attention for it to count, but when you think about it that's kind of stupid because you really take the language in passively as well. So I decided to just listen to the podcast when I'm doing something else, even if I'm not paying full attention to it. And surprisingly, I think it's really working. Not only can I do it more often, like at work or when I'm doing dishes or when I'm commuting. I heard similar things from some of my friends about watching my YouTube channel. They were like, I don't really want to watch unless I can pay full attention to it. And honestly, I think you can take in passively more than you think. If you really think something super important, you can always come back and watch it again. And honestly, I personally watch YouTube a lot of the time that way as well. So it's always in the background when I'm doing other stuff. I rarely, rarely watch YouTube when I I really want to pay attention to it and I will be glad to be one of those people that you watch in the background as well like that is my personal goal honestly with this like this you can absolutely watch in the background you're not gonna lose on anything so it's the same thing with my German podcast there's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't listen to it in the background when I'm doing other stuff so that's why I started to count and you can see an uptake on that once I started to count that I use a little check mark for when I listen to the podcast and you can see that I did that when I realized this and I also really pushed myself with the Duolingo thing to do like all the quests. Not only that, I also reached my next chapter, so I'm now like at Duolingo's A2 level. I'm super happy about it because I see the difference. It seems a little bit harder, which is pretty fine by me. I'm a little bit above that, but it's good to learn the vocabulary, in my opinion. Okay, enough about the German. Next thing is bullet journaling. I did my bujo 25 times, I did it like half three times, and I didn't do it three times. So that's about 85%. I'm not super happy about it, but I'm not really sad about it. It's like I could do a little bit better, but honestly, I think the reason was because it was kind of a busy month, which we will talk about very soon. Maybe I should mention it actually right now. Okay, one of the things that we had to do in March was assemble our wardrobe. So we got a new wardrobe from Ikea. Before that, do not ask me what we had. Like we did not have a wardrobe at all because we literally just moved like a couple of months ago. So we could have gotten like something lower quality, but we didn't want that. We really wanted to get like the best one. So we had to wait. And March was finally the month where we could get it and assemble it. We did an assembly all by ourselves. We got like the pack system. It's a really big wardrobe and it's heavy. So many parts depending on what you put inside it but it's a process and I'm glad we didn't pay anyone because it was still fun but it's probably the hardest thing we had to assemble from Ikea. I'm happy about it but it took like the whole weekend for us. We started on like Friday afternoon after work and then we did like the whole Saturday. We literally finished on like Saturday late evening. It was very challenging but we did it. And then the next weekend we had some friends over from Serbia for a couple of days. It was really fun. I was really happy to have them but that weekend also we couldn't really do much in the sense of my goals and stuff. I'm completely fine with that, don't worry. At least we did like the step goal that weekend, if nothing else. Those were two weekends in a row that I couldn't 
really do much and I honestly thought that I would not be able to finish my videos on time to post them on the weekend and I kinda didn't. On the weekend when we had friends over I could not finish the editing on time. I finished it on like Sunday evening, Monday evening and I posted it on Monday but that made everything kinda late. I thought I was not gonna make it in time for the April reset but you know what I forgot? Easter and on Easter Monday is also holiday so I have the whole Monday to do stuff so I was able to mostly finish my editing. I'm gonna finish it up after filming this video. I only have like some super small things to polish and to make the thumbnail and then I'm gonna post that. So that would be like either my fifth video in March if you count it like that or the first video in April because I'm gonna post it on the first probably. So that's the video right before this one. My goal was to post four videos and edit one more. So that's technically the edit one more. I also had the goal to post on Instagram and Pinterest and for Instagram I have to say I was super annoyed. It started kind of good because I was late for February as well so I first posted all of the February and that was completely fine. At certain point Instagram had like an error so what would happen is I would schedule a post and then it would say oh you have an error you cannot do it. It would crash but then when the time comes to post it it would actually post it even though it's saying an error. So I was super annoyed about that. I don't know if they fixed it. It kind of seems like they did but then also it, it does not allow me to schedule more posts than I want to. I'm, I'm just super annoyed at Instagram and that's why of the reasons why I started the YouTube because Instagram is like so buggy for me and so far YouTube has been pretty okay. When it comes to Pinterest actually I almost did not finish the goal again like I did not post anything the whole March but then like yesterday or the day before I started to schedule posts for April and I scheduled the whole April so basically almost every day in April there's gonna be a post on Pinterest for me so I'm really happy about it and last year when I posted on Pinterest it was also kind of buggy and it was super annoying to me but now it seems like they really changed a bunch of things and it looks much better and it works much better so let's hope for the best. We had a goal to check out the gym, I will say it immediately, we did not do that. Honestly we just had other things to do, like I said the wardrobe and our friends coming over kind of had a really huge impact on those two things. We really wanted to do it on a weekend but I forgot that this weekend was Easter so nothing was gonna work. Instead we just kind of walked past it a couple of times to check it out through the windows and it seems really fine so I think in this month we will just go for that one. I did not count it as completed the goal but I kind of did at least something, right? I did my April team on time. Again, I thought I was not gonna make it because I started to work on it kind of late, but I managed to do it just in time. Like, I finished taking the pictures on the day that our friends were coming, like that morning. So I'm really happy to say that not only did I finish my April team, I managed to take the pictures and everything just in time. Last thing I'm gonna mention are the dates. One of my goals and one of the budgets for March were to go on like a sushi date. We didn't do that because first of all, the wardrobe was more expensive that we thought and second of all like we went on a couple of dates in March and a couple of those were like on the first week because we were so tired of being at home all the time and we really wanted to just go out so the first weekend when it was kind of nice weather we went three times somewhere and one of those times was kind of this burger place which was a little bit expensive so when I took a look at our budget I was like okay let's count this part as the budget for our date nights and go to the sushi one next month. I am going to move that goal to April but honestly Honestly, I'm not really too sure about it either. We will talk about why when we come to the budget. For April we will have mostly the same goals. We still have my yearly goals which are fruits and veggies, step goal, German and bullet journaling. We also have posting videos and going on dates. For April in particular I want to post four videos again because I have that one that we will count as for April that I can post right now. And then I think three more is pretty reasonable because we will have this one that I'm filming right now. And two more is pretty easy, I already have some on that list. Then we still have posting to instant Pinterest. Like I said I did not completely finish my Instagram goal I was still kind of late for the March part so we still have a couple more posts for March and then I can do April's post and Pinterest like I said I scheduled the whole of April but at the end of April I want to schedule for May. I accidentally wrote start gym twice I have no idea it was super early in the morning so forgive me. Anyway like I said we were just gonna go to that gym and start it. If we don't like it we will just go somewhere else next month. Again I want to do my May team on time and I'm hoping that this time I can actually start on time as well so I will start like 
in the middle of the month, maybe 10th and 15th of April just to start. It's a long process for me, so I have to start early if I want to get it in time. Then we have one more goal for May, which is digital cleanup. And a little bit of a spoiler for the budget part. We want to get new phones in a couple of months, so we want to save for them. And then on the other side, I want to do like a digital cleanup of our phones and also of my own personal things. Not only that, but when I moved, I could not bring my PC, I could only bring my laptop, so my files are like all over the place and I want to do like this digital cleanup to clean everything up. I'm not sure how long it will take or if I will need to do it in May as well, but for April that's definitely what I need to do. And hopefully before we get our new phones. We can now go to the budgeting part. Again, I really want to budget saving specifically for our phones because we are getting Samsung 24 Ultra, both of us, so that's kind of pricey and we want to be able to buy it in cash, so we are saving right now. Other than that, for previous month, like I said, we had that budgeting problem with the date. For April, I'm going to give it the same amount, but my husband and I agreed that if we are going on a date like that, we will do it at the end of the month just to make sure we actually could afford it. Again, we are saving for other things so that's why it's so important. We still have to get a little bit more furniture including a couple of shelves, something for our storage room and we're kind of debating on doing our balcony. We did a couple of things for our balcony including a couple of flowers and some pots but we really need like a table and chairs for it. We'll see about that but that's the only things we're budgeting in for right now. It's just saving for the phones and that thing for the balcony. One more thing is like a couple of small things for the bathroom because it's almost done but we still need just a couple of smaller things so we We'll be doing just those three things that are kind of bigger. Everything else is basically like our regular paying, you know, groceries and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna mention that. Oh, I almost forgot we also went to the zoo as technically our date, but that was supposed to be part of the budget for April, but we still had money left over from last month, so we just went ahead and did it. It was literally on the 31st of March, which was yesterday, so that was completely fine by me. We got the yearly tickets. It was really amazing, and this month I want to go at least twice. Honestly, March was pretty amazing. The weather was really nice and also the daylight saving finally happened yesterday so I want to make April even better we can do so much more I know I can push myself to achieve all of my goals and still enjoy my life and have some fun all right I hope I did not forget anything thank you very much for watching this video even if it's in the background when you're doing other stuff I really appreciate it that's exactly what I want to be for you and also kind of inspiring to achieve your own goals maybe if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like or a comment to let me know and to let the algorithm know that you like it so that it would push to other people who may like videos like this as well. I really hope to see you in my next video or at least in my next recipe video. Bye bye! Uh, um, um, at <sighs> and for Instagram, to push it to. Thank you very much for watching. And 50. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat>